Thank you for joining me in the public portal of training. This page is open to the public and does not require any form of login to access it. The URL is opencontracting.makwini.go.ke. The main part of the page is a summary list of tenders in the county. The tenders are summarized by their title, department, fiscal year, closing date, tender value, the project, and the final column is the tenders document. But before we get into that, it is important to point out that the top left is where we have the total number of contracts in the county, 141, that's both past and present. The total contract value is listed adjusted to it. There is also the help button. Clicking the help button provides a pop-up which enables one to navigate or rather provides assistance to one to navigate the page. In each pop-up is a brief of the tab. Click next to proceed to the next tab. Should you want to go to a previous tab, click back. Should you want to opt out of this help pop-up, click in any part of the page or click skip. One can also download the data from this site. One can do so through clicking this tab, which enables one to download the data in XLS format or JSON format, should one wish to do so. That is what we have downloaded. On the left, we have filters with which one can use to narrow down the selection of tenders in which they're interested in. Clicking text search provides you an opportunity to type in what you're interested in. Perhaps you're interested in tenders that have word classrooms in it. Click apply. Clicking apply generates a list of tenders that strictly have classrooms in it. Should you wish to opt out of this filter, click reset. This takes one back to the original list of tenders. If you are keen on a specific department, click department. Select the department you're interested in, click apply. This, for example, gives us a list of tenders that were procured by the Gender, Children, Culture and Social Services Department. To opt out, click reset. If you are keen on tenders for a specific fiscal year, selecting either of the fiscal years available provides you an opportunity to see and get a list of tenders specific to that fiscal year. Should you wish to get tenders for a specific item that is listed here, you can scroll down and choose one that is of interest. Once again, click apply should you wish to select tenders that strictly revolve around drugs or medicine, for example. Should you wish to opt out of that filter, click reset. One also has the opportunity to select tenders per sub-county. The seven sub-counties, sorry, six sub-counties listed here, which you can select from, apply. So this list is a list of tenders it's unique to the Kibwezi East sub-county. To opt out, click reset. You can go a step further and click and look for tenders unique to specific words. The amount filter provides you an opportunity to select the parameters with which you would like to query. Selecting a maximum of 10 million, click apply.
this means we will now only have a list of tenders whose maximum value is 10 million. Any tender whose value is 11 million, for example, will not be included in this list. Should you wish to change these parameters, you can easily do so. 100,000. to apply. It will do the same thing. It will provide you a list of tenders whose contract values are within the parameters that you have set. If you would like to search a tender based on its closing date, one can also do so. As you can see, the automatic year, as you can see, the years provided, that is 2018 and 2019, have already been automatically selected. If the year that you're interested in is 2018, for example, deselect 2019, it will also provide the number, I mean, the months with which you'd like to select. So if the tender was, um, if the tender that you're interested in was closed in 2018 March, deselect all the other months and only remain with March, apply. At the moment, there are no such tenders, but this, but you have the ability to change uh, the filters by your interest. It is also important to note that one can select multiple filters As you can see, the tender that pops up meets the criteria of uh, department gender, the fiscal year 2018-2019, and the sub-county to Busy East. Now, to get more details about a specific tender, click the tender title, and you will get a summary of the tender. That is the tender name, tender code, when was the invitation to tender date, closing date, um, who was the procuring entity, the value. You will also see there are a number of tabs at the top. These are both tender and implementation processes and we will go through them shortly. In the tender tab, one can click the tender uh, document and this downloads the original tender document. The purchase requisition tab gives a brief of who made the requisition what was the value, when was the approval date. One can also click the requisition document to get the original requisition document. The next tab, which is tender evaluation, gives a brief summary of who applied for this, who applied for this tender, who failed and who was successful. Clicking on the link, it gives you an opportunity to download the original uh, tender evaluation document. As mentioned, in each of the processes that we are going through, one should be able to directly download the document that is um, uploaded in every tab. When you click professional opinion, this will provide details of the professional opinion on who should be awarded, the award value, and the date in which the opinion was given. 
click here to download the professional opinion. The next tab is the notification tab. This shows the official win winner and provides a link from which one can download the official notification of the award document. This document is from contracting is from the contracting department to the awardee to inform them that their bid was successful. The next tab is the award tab. This award contains the acceptance letter from the supplier. It also details who the sub gives a brief of who the supplier was, um, when and the response date was, and the accepted award value. The contract gives a summary of who the supplier is, the procuring entity, the contract date, expiry date, and of course the contract value. It also provides a link with which one can download the contract. There is the administrator reports. At the moment, we do not have data on that but the administrator reports will provide access to each contract implementation administrator report and if the authorized payment. The inspection report will provide access to each contract inspection report and if they have approved payment. The PMC report provides, opportunity, provides information on the project management committee reports and if the authorized payment. The m and &E report shows key information for each m and &E report for the contract implementation, including the status of the project. The payment voucher shows the payment vouchers that have been processed for the contract. These will all be updated in due time.